everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my June yups and nopes. This is essentially my favorites and I just wanted to come up with a name for it. So first I'm going to do cosmetics and then I'm going to move into skincare. The very first item I have is from Ulta and this is the Fabulous Face Foundation Primer, which is a mouthful. I bought this during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale and I've been using it ever since then. Then, And this is like the primer that will not run out because I, I feel like I barely put a dent in this, but I use this every day. And this just feels so nice on my skin and it makes my makeup last all day. And I've just been reaching for this pretty much every day, even though I have other primers. Just, I love this one and I feel like it just goes unnoticed. This is the Mary Lou highlighter and it looks like this. This is actually the highlighter I am wearing today and I've been wearing this pretty much nonstop. I bought it when it was on sale on Hoyt Look. So if you're wanting to try the Balm Cosmetics, I know they're a little bit pricier and you don't really want to spend the full amount, I would advise going on Hoyt Look and looking. And my other favorite that I have from them is the Bahama Mama Bronzer. And I love the packaging of this as well because it just looks like a little book. And it, I just held it upside down. A little book. And it's adorable. But again, this is what I'm wearing today and I've just been loving this. I've just been reaching for it over everything else. So for eyes, my favorite palette by far that I've been using is one by... Seraphine Botanicals and I got this in a subscription service in my Nourish Beauty box and you can see I have put quite the dent in this. I just, I love this palette. It, it's what I'm using on my eyes today. I wouldn't say it's super in your face pigment, but it is pigmented and it's really pretty. It goes on my eyes really well and I love the shades in this and I've just been using it constantly. The other eyeshadow palette that I've been using constantly is my Carly Bible Deluxe Edition. I do have the original as well, and that was in my favorites on my blog a few months ago, and I actually like this one better than the original, and you can kind of see I've really dug in to some of these shades. I've used it quite a lot, and originally I wasn't going to buy this because I have the original, but now I'm really happy that I have it because I actually like this one more <laughs> and I haven't been reaching for the original one at all. So this one isn't really a makeup product. It's a palette, a magnetic palette like the Z palettes, but it's not a Z palette. And it's from Pretties for Your Face and like, look at this. It's got skulls. And this is the smaller one. I believe this was $10 and then she has a larger one that's $20 and on the inside I have an assortment of things. It doesn't have a mirror. I have some pretty spray your face things in here as well as um, I think it's Makeup Geek. Yeah and Makeup Geek. I just really love this and I know a lot of people aren't wanting to buy from Z palette anymore with that whole controversy that went down and so if you're in the market for a new palette I would Consider these ones because these are really good quality and really cool looking. Matches my style. The next one I have is from e.l.f. and this is their shadow brow and liner palette. So these can be used as eyeshadow liner and for your brows. And these shirts look like this. I've been using this shade here. I'm trying to not blind you. This shade here for my eyebrows and that's really all I use it for is that one shade because I saw another YouTuber using this and I was like, oh, they have some reds in there that might work for me. And <laughs> I've just really been liking it. I've been using it every day for my eyebrows and I've been using the brush that comes with it as well. And I haven't tried it on my eyes yet, but from what I've understood, it's supposed to be good on your eyes as eyeshadow as well. So probably need to try that, verify it for myself. But I've really been liking this for my brows. Next one I have is really more of a lipstick collection that I'm a fan of. These are the Bare Minerals, what are you? The Gen Nude Lipstick Collection. I have the shades Swank, Boss, and Scandal. And you would think I wouldn't normally go for these shades because I do tend to like reds more, but 
for one, they smell like chocolate. Like they just, they smell like chocolate. And I was wearing this in a video and even in the beginning of the video when I put this on, I was like, it smells like chocolate. Cause it legit does. And I just smell chocolate for the rest of the day. These go on really nice. They're really cream, creamy and they don't really last all day. Like you definitely see some transfer, but they don't get patchy or anything. And I've just really been liking them and I've been wearing them just a lot. <laughs> Next one I have is on my lips right now. It's a Kat Von D studded lipstick in the shade Tijuana. It is just such a pretty bright red. It's what I have on now. And these are my favorite kinds. Like I just love bright red lipstick. And I have some of her studded lipsticks. This has just been my favorite one, my go-to. And I just love this shade. It deserves a shout out. That's all I have for makeup. So for skincare, the first one I have to mention is from Nubian Heritage. I talked about this in my finds and flops, which I will leave in the thingamajigger. And this is a lotion that has been just squeezed to death because it's just, ah, uh, and now I need to smell it. It just smells so good. And I've been using this nonstop and I love it. It's just, this is a really good lotion not just because of the smell it actually does hydrate my skin and, and I appreciate that I have dry skin also for my dry skin I have been loving the Pacifica vital immersion deep hydration mask and you can see I have, I'm almost out of this I don't know if you can see it because it is a white product but I have almost used this up and this has a smell but I can't quite put my fingers on what it is. What are you supposed to smell like? I just have jasmine flower water. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. But this is really good for dry skin. You can leave it on for, it says at least 30 minutes or for intense therapy to leave it on overnight. I haven't left it on overnight because I have a different product that I use for that, but I have been using this as a mask and leaving it on my face for half an hour. And I've just been really liking this. So if you have dry skin, this stuff. The next one I have is from e.l.f. It's the Nourishing Night Cream and I'm almost out of this. Like I have hit the bottom on this product. Don't know if you can tell. My grimy hands have been all up in there. And this is a product that I use on my face at the very end of my routine at the end of the night. And this is just like a moisture bomb on my face. And I love it. And I need to get another one because these were, I think, $12, so it's pretty affordable, and this has lasted me quite a while as well. The very last one I have in here is from Peony Cosmetics, I think it's how it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. Prayers Answered Face Polish with Beetroot and Olive Stones. Now, I don't like olives, they're disgusting to me, but this doesn't smell like olives at all. I don't even know how to explain this scent. Everything that I have tried from this brand smells amazing so in general I would recommend it just on just based on smell what do you smell like I really don't know but it smells so good and it's got little beads in there I don't know if you're going to be able to see this can you see but and it works really well I exfoliate my face every other day because I have more sensitive skin I can't do it every day or my skin will just hate me forever but I've been using this every other day and I, I love this. It smells really good and I can actually feel it working as I put it on my skin because I hate when I put things on and I'm like, is this doing anything? Is this doing anything? This I can actually tell that it is doing something. That's all I have for you for my June 2017 monthly yips and nopes. If there's anything you think that I should check out, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and all of that jazz. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you'd like, and I will see you next time. Bye!